so right now I'm doing the whole car inspection and I was shaking the wheel look at this play this is horrible can you guys guess what this is yeah this is the um, idler arm bushing right over there all right so this brake caliper is leaking uh, next thing that I noticed I mean the rotor isn't too bad it's all right um, this all looks pretty good. It's actually, somebody replaced this control arm, I believe, or it could be actually original still. Because, like I said, the car doesn't have that many miles. Um, the tie rods look all fine. Um, the only thing that really bothers me is whoever put this caliper on did a horrible job. Can you guys notice the problem? All right, so that is pretty bad. I look at this kinked brake hose they were not careful at all putting that either way this brake hose needs to be replaced also okay um and uh claudia if you're watching i already told you that your rear brake hoses are shot your rear calipers are shot and uh, uh, the brake pads are really thin in the back as well so that needs to be addressed but yeah same same thing in the front you know uh, but whoever worked on it before did a horrible job and this is this brake hose is not supposed to be like this supposed to be free okay um, somebody did a horrible job and long story short yeah I mean this brake hose also needs to be replaced it's it's all worn out okay it's original it's got Mercedes logo right there okay then uh, front control arm bushings are getting tired but they're not completely just too bad yet I've seen worse than that um, so I would just uh, I wouldn't worry about them that much but now let me show you that uh, the problem is right there okay with that guy uh, this is the idler arm bushing it needs to be replaced ASAP it's really unsafe to drive this car at this point right now another thing that I recommend is obviously cleaning all this stuff kind of and uh, spraying either um, fluid film on here or uh, my undercoating method which is wheel bearing grease and used oil and just protecting everything from rusting uh, that's really really important actually um, and possibly just remove this fender liner because there's a lot of junk usually that builds up right there okay you can see a lot of junk right there this is not good okay a lot of junk that's as far as this side all right all right guys now we're gonna move on to the engine compartment first thing that I see and that is problematic um, is right here on this side that we have a battery okay um, and this seems to be okay uh, the right battery for this car just because it's a not it's not a diesel it's a gasoline car and diesels have a lot bigger batteries but this battery tray needs help ASAP before it's too late okay you see the rust forming right there uh, this battery needs to come out the battery tray needs to come out and get treated but um, actually it might not be worth it guys yep it's gone right there you see that battery it's rusted out so that's a big problem so it's probably gonna need just a, a used or a new one um, but then I would definitely take this battery out and the tray and underneath check for rust there's probably gonna be rust and I recommend getting it all out cleaning all the rust and protecting everything painting it primering and putting grease on there so it never rusts again there's gonna be no problems all right so that's what I'm recommending another thing is this uh, hinge is broken okay the mount right there rusted out what it appears like uh, which is kind of a common problem if you're not watching your car it's gonna rust out I, I there was a spring here I removed it I put it inside the car right now so yeah and then this damage happened because of this spring so I might just remove that actually yeah I don't think it's a good idea to remove that right now um but yeah this is just hitting this fender all the time 
as you open and close the hood so that's that needs to be addressed and another thing is the drains there's no drains right there okay the drains are actually clogged okay you see all the drains in there I don't know if you can tell there's a lot of junk and leaves in there there's a drain right there it cannot be clogged up if it's clogged up it can cause water leaks inside the car and same thing on this side uh, there's a lot of leaves and junk in there okay it needs to be cleaned up same right there I try to squeeze in hand there's a lot of junk i'm not gonna pull it all out but you can kind of see right there next thing what i recommend is doing the oil change if you haven't done it yet especially if you acquired this car not too long ago you don't know the history so it's the oil and filter change also removing this valve cover and doing the valve adjustment in these cars you're supposed to do them pretty often um and also these linkages right here they all to they all need to come off all right you see this these ball joints they all need to come off and get cleaned up and lubricated it's all this linkage you know that, that all connects to your gas pedal and all that stuff this all needs a really good maintenance um and then the belts still look fine that belt a little bit like starting to crack a little bit you know but other than that i mean they the belts uh look to be pretty fresh um okay another thing as far as the interior um everything seems to be good but uh my recommendation is make sure um you grab like some kind of leather good leather conditioner and you condition your seats and your whole interior like at least you know once or twice a week um and also make sure you always use this dashboard is really really beautiful uh it has um uh you know it, it's, it's barely has like a crack right there so you need to make sure that you buy that thermal protector you just whenever you go somewhere or you park your car somewhere always make sure you put that protector there this will ensure that this dashboard is gonna be like this forever it's gonna last another 100 years like that that's the problem with the people that they just park the car somewhere they drive them and they never put that protector right here you know that's the problem okay uh you're supposed to use that all right and uh yeah so use that condition your leather your seats steering wheel these door panels everything do all that maintenance um and you will see that the car is is going to be immaculate even after like 50 years still so next thing what i recommend doing is removing all four door panels um and the reason why i like doing that is when you take these off you're supposed to lubricate the uh, window tracks and you're supposed to lubricate the um uh rental regulators that's behind that are behind the door panels um and if you don't do that you know eventually the runner regulator is gonna either the the gears are gonna strip or it's gonna just break um it's pretty common problems on these w123s and just in general old school mercedes so you gotta make sure you do that another thing is uh a lot of like these seals are pretty much gone okay these door seals uh, that's another problem is people don't condition them you're supposed to use a rubber conditioner and condition these seals okay um pretty often and that will prevent the cracking and uh, them going bad um so make sure you do that and uh, i mean there's rust on the bottom um which is pretty sad okay so what i do on my cars is i actually if there's some rust i clean it all off and i smear wheel bearing grease everywhere that way it will never rust actually but some of these doors it seems like they might just need to be replaced um yeah but i would still go ahead and probably i would still clean all this rust off okay and i would stop or at least stop this rust from you know getting crazy um the body is actually pretty good on the outside you know but they're just you know some blemishes you know some this needs to be actually uh get taken care of okay there's a holes it needs to be patched up and the biggest problem with floors on this car is just on this driver's side that you need to actually take care of asap it needs to be uh, uh, welded up okay 
and uh, that is it's actually pretty crazy because it's on, only on this side right like behind the driver's seat which I'm gonna show you right in a second okay so here's here's that thing right here okay it's this is a rear door uh, rear seat mount okay so this all needs to get cleaned up I recommend cleaning all this stuff I'm uh, peeling all this factory undercoating okay just peel it all off and cut it out all the rust and it needs to be welded up right here as soon as possible okay you gotta save this baby up other than that like i said the, the interior is amazing immaculate really beautiful okay um and like i said uh, I've already sent you pictures, you know, I sent uh, pictures of, you know, how I cleaned under this seat because I had everything out. So, that's all done. Very good. And another thing what I recommend is uh, restoring this. Uh, make this thing, so you see how it's just sagging, okay? Well, from the factory, it used to be like this. So, um, you know, if you want, I can also fix that. Um, and then the same thing on the other side all right next thing what i recommend is you see these uh rubber um skirts right here on the bumper is really beautiful so i recommend also conditioning this with the rubber conditioner okay this needs to be conditioned and then also there's some rust cause starting right here so i recommend taking care of this asap it's really important until it's before it starts spreading again i'm going to show you an example of what happens when you don't condition your rubber or seals and it starts just start cracking like this okay this also needs to be replaced you can look at the seals they sell these uh, moldings it's actually not like it comes with this chrome piece and uh, a rubber seal you can buy that and another thing is the mirrors okay I've, I've done plenty of videos of actually how to maintain the mirrors and how to actually uh, fix them up but in this case this mirror is actually really stiff you know i don't want to move it if i move it i'm gonna break the mechanism inside it's a bad thing um so just remember if you're watching this video don't move if this is stiff if this is not moving easily don't force it because you're gonna break the mechanism inside this and there will there will be more work to actually fix that Okay, so just so you remember that. Another big problem is uh, rear windshield seal needs to be replaced. Okay, you see all the cracks and how badly it's cracked. So this needs to be replaced. And um, also another thing when you re remove this uh, rear windshield underneath, you gotta check for rust. It's pretty common that they rust underneath and they have to actually clean that up um, and treat that stuff. Um, and at the same time, we're gonna replace this rear windshield gasket. Now, I'm gonna go on here, okay. This is missing the rubber seal right here. So that's not good. If that happens, you might be getting water inside your trunk. So you gotta, I don't know how somebody removed that or whatever, it needs to be on here. There's a rubber seal, okay. As far as the rear end of this car, like I said, I'm not gonna actually pull off the wheels because I already checked that, but uh, you need two calipers, uh, you need brake pads, um, you need new brake hoses, um, and you need actually uh, another axle, um, or you need new axle boots just because on this passenger side rear the axle is actually you know the boots are getting like cracked and dry rotted so those need to be replaced and actually here's a tip if you have uh, uh, you know if you actually maintain your axle boots and spray them with seal conditioner they're gonna uh, last for a long time so that's what I do with my cars actually that 240d I actually go uh, I always like go underneath and like at least like three times a month I spray that those uh, CV boots with um, with uh, uh, like a conditioner like a seal conditioner and you know I spread it all around the the rubber and that actually like protects that pretty good and 
you know that, that that those things actually last so the reason why parts don't last or like rubber doesn't last because people don't take care of that so just remember all right one more thing that i recommend doing is if you look at these jack points all right there's some junk inside so i'll probably just take that out but you see it's starting starting to rust right here so this needs to be taken care of it needs to be cleaned up with a wire wheel and it needs to be painted protected because otherwise this thing's gonna start just chipping away and rusting it's not good okay and your jack points are actually in a great condition so you need to take care of that asap you need to act now all right there's some rust bubbling starting right here so this needs to be scraped off and cleaned up all right and same thing like right here this all like i said i recommend the whole car undercoating with like fluid film or with my method with wheel bearing grease and used oil um and that needs to be done and i recommend removing all this stuff there's a lot of junk and leaves okay um under here behind this uh, uh fender liner so this needs, needs to be cleaned up and right there as you can see that's a lot of junk um a lot of sand and everything needs to be cleaned up all right all right i cleaned it up and let me show you where it's leaking from i hope you can see you see the saturation fluid and it's just dripping down right here so this seam is leaking right here also one more thing is uh the tires are you know pretty dry right it they're actually from 2011 so they're pretty old i mean the tread is still there but i personally would probably just find some better tires for it you know um but again this is up to the owner um yeah and it needs two hubcaps for that side one more thing is these subframe bushings are gone they need to be replaced they're not good anymore um and they need to be changed guys all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in the next one subscribe and like the video All right, guys, so it's another day and uh, just a quick update. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. The owner decided that uh, I actually gave him a, like a big list of things that this car needs. Um, and uh, as of right now, uh, he's actually coming today to pick up the car. Um, and, you know, he's going to obviously save and, uh, uh, you know, he knows exactly what the car needs, you know, because I told him. Um, so, yeah, I don't know uh what plans he has for this car and all that stuff but uh he just told me that he's coming today he's gonna pick it up and we're not gonna be fixing this caliper right now it's leaking a little bit but actually the brake pedal is still really nice and tight strong i just have to check the brake fluid level and make sure it's all tapped off and good uh yeah but the biggest issue was that master cylinder that was bad another thing is like i told him that the idler arm is pretty bad needs to be replaced um he's aware of that so yeah i'm gonna deliver this car today and meet him up and uh, uh like two minutes away from here and that's it i'm gonna give him this car i have to take it off with the jack stand right now and uh yeah this baby is all ready to be picked up